Hello beautiful, strong, happy and healthy people. So it's been a while since we have done a video and the reason being is one, lockdown has been a little bit of a roller coaster and two is we moved house. So we're almost finished in our gorgeous new house. We're waiting for a couple more pieces and then it's officially done. But we're very excited and we're loving our new place with our gorgeous view in the background of the mountains in the city. So this morning, well, we're finding it hard to do exercise together because we're both working pretty much full time. So this morning, it's Sunday, we decided to do a morning workout. So we've already done yoga. We woke up at 5 a.m. It was supposed to be 4 a.m., but we decided to sleep in a little. So we finished our yoga, now we're going to do HIIT training, have a really yummy breakfast, and then we're gonna go for an awesome walk on the river because we were actually not going for a walk around the area since we moved in. We've been here for a week now. <laughs> You finished the workout. I'm dead. This is our finish. It's still finished not going. Still going? Yeah. No. Yeah, this is the end. No, no. Yeah. Hold, side planks, bicep punches, and walkouts to finish. Uh, they kicked their butt. <laughs> what a man, huh? Watch him clean. <laughs> Our workout is done, and my chef is going to be making us a sweet omelet for breakfast. <coughs> Yummy? Yeah, let's try to do something good, something good for this morning. With a Sunday sweet, healthy breakfast with eggs, cacao, oats. Probably something chocolate, peanut butter, and banana. We're done? Done. 
not perfect, but the important is the taste. It's gonna taste good? Yeah. Are you ready to explore our new neighborhood? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's see South Bank. So one thing we didn't think through when we moved into this place is there is three elevators and now there's social distancing rules that you're allowed two people in each elevator. We calculated this way about if this building's relatively full, at least 500 people, but maybe between that and 900 people. Yeah. And if you come peak hours, there's some legit lineups to get into the elevator. And we are on the 20th floor. So I don't yeah. think we're going to be taking the stairs anytime soon. Uh, I will. Let's, Do it. Yeah. Let's see Last it. Last time I was leaving Gold Coast. Yeah, and okay. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> Two laps oh. opened up. Okay. We should do that for exercise. Next okay. week to our house. checking out my video and our fun little Sunday exercise morning. Now I'm a personal trainer and I run a fitness business and I've realized that through this whole lockdown period, people have either kind of done two, one of two things. They've either, either taken this opportunity to get fitter than ever, they're doing more home workouts, they're taking the opportunities to go for walks whenever they can and they're starting things like cycling or running, other things they didn't usually have time for because they're either working from home or they're unemployed, they now have time. Or they do the other thing and they were fitness bunnies before and they decided to completely stop exercise altogether and not do any workout, not do any gym and just break their whole routine because their routine is broken. So they decided not to do anything. Now I understand that this time right now is difficult for everyone on completely different levels but I really think it's important to try and find a way to keep fitness in your everyday routine. I recommend trying out the Central app that we played with today. They have a six week boot camp kind of challenge on there that's pretty much body weight. They've got some body weight stuff and you can also do dumbbells but it's a great way to kind of kick start you back before the gyms begin to open now the gyms open in Australia in about three weeks in Queensland and everywhere in the world is completely different but right before they start opening it's a good time right now to start getting your fitness routines in place and don't use this whole lockdown experience as an excuse stop to, to stop focusing on your fitness it's extremely important for all us to realize that this whole coronavirus thing should actually be taken as a full health scare now as most people affected have already underlying conditions or they have underlying conditions not based on genetics and based on their lifestyle choices. Now, if this, this teaches us anything, it's that your health and fitness needs to be number one. So the fact that a lot of people have taken this as an excuse not to work out and to start binge eating and to break their healthy routines is probably one of the worst things we could have done. This should be a time that you can start focusing on you. You have time to make better lifestyle choices, more sleep, eat better and start moving around. So I really recommend checking out that app. I'll put the link below if you haven't seen it before. Otherwise, there's a bunch of free apps online. But try and create that healthy routine now before all the gym stuff start opening. Thanks again. Check out my video. Subscribe button.
thumbs up and i see you guys next time oh and keeping strong happy and healthy